Today we're testing to find out how much the miles per gallon on this F100 has improved since EFI swapping it this past winter. This is a Ford 300 inline six and we added a Fitech 800 horsepower mean street power adder unit on a full digital timing control system and this thing is running great. But we're not sure how much the miles per gallon has improved since EFI swapping it. So today we're gonna drive it an hour, test it out and see exactly what we're running at. This isn't gonna be a rough guess. We're gonna completely fill the tank up. We're gonna drive it an hour to London, Ohio. And then once we get back, we're going to go back to the same gas station, check to see how much fuel we've used by filling it all the way back up. And then we're going to divide that by the miles that we've driven and we should have our number. This is one of the most highly requested videos since EFI swapping this F100. Because overall, everyone wants to see how much the miles per gallon has improved since EFI swapping it. And overall, is it more reliable? So we're going to do this video. And then the next video after that is turboing this Ford 300 in line six stock. Let's test it. Before we hit the road, we're going to go ahead and grease up the front steering rack and the front suspension on the 77 F100 because I'm sure it hasn't been greased up in about 40 years. And we're going to grease it up using blaster heavy duty grease. We're greasing the tie rods, the drag link, the ball joints. Anything with a Zerk fitting is getting hit. Look how far that just raised up. It's not about fixing old parts. It's about preventing new problems. The steering feel, the tire wear, even the ride quality. It all comes down to keeping this stuff lubricated, especially with all the miles that we've been putting on this thing. I want this front suspension to feel tight and smooth the entire trip. Little stuff like this makes a big difference when you're putting miles on a vehicle, especially an older vehicle like this. So let's finish this up and get on the road. So the truck's not too far away from being full. Man, I hope I got this fuel leak fixed. Well, we're getting ready to find out. So far, so good. I think we might have got the fuel leak fixed because it's taken five gallons. So she should be almost be full because it was at a quarter of a tank. So let's see. Okay, so it took like nine gallons. All right, so should be plenty to do this test. So we're starting this trip at the gas station. We're driving it about 15 miles and then we're coming right back. It's 55 the entire way. We don't have to worry about over revving it, giving it the best chance for the highest miles per gallon. Okay, so we are ready to take this thing on a drive and test it out. have to end up redoing this test because it's about five o'clock there's a lot of start and stop traffic we'll see if the miles per gallon is too low we're gonna tune it and try it again we optimize what we're actually getting because you know we can adjust all that with the handheld but there's just a lot of start stop traffic so far we're we're doing about 55 with no stops but the beginning was kind of rough We are at our destination, the Mickey D's in London, Ohio, exactly 15 miles away from the gas station. Now we're gonna flip around and drive it back. According to our crappy gas gauge, we've barely used any. So hopefully, eh, that's a good sign, but right off the rip, I think we're gonna be at about 15 miles to the gallon. I think that like we can do better, but I think that's where we're gonna start. So let's start heading back and find out. I 
I genuinely cannot wait to get rid of the three on the tree. I, the three speed is so cool if you're just driving around one place, like a little city or something like that. But like, if you're trying to put some miles on something, man, at least from my experience, the three on the tree is a pain, especially without power steering. And then now you add filming on top of that, <laughs> oh, dude, killing me. All right, let's get back to this trip. Ooh. What we got here? Oh, I know what we got. Some hoodlums and a crackhead. After driving it like 30 miles, we're back at the gas station, but we've got to wait for this guy to get out of the way so that we can put gas back in it and divide the miles that we've driven by how much gas we used off of a completely filled tank. And when I say completely filled, I mean as soon as I started hearing it go into the filler neck, it has a very distinct sound. We cut it off right there. So so once we hear that again, we'll know we're filled up. See the imp What was that? Did you hear that? What was that? The pumps are now free. Let's find out how much this thing is drinking gas. I'm kind of excited because I think it did well, but I'm also kind of nervous because it didn't do well. I've got to tune it, and then we've got to do that all over again. Which honestly, no matter what, we're probably just going to tune it and do it all over again anyways. Because if it's getting, let's say, like 20 miles to the gallon, we can do better. All right, old girl, don't fail me now. No fuel leaks. How much gas did you use off a of full tank? Man, I wish you'd shut up. Your Discover card this summer. From road trips to running errands and more, earn rewards on every purchase along the way. You earn 5% cash back at gas and EV charging stations, public transit, and utilities. July 1st through September 30th. I'm up to $1,500 in purchases when you have to be. Oh, it sounds like it's still full. Oh, goodness, dude. It sounds like it's still there. I'm kind of forcing it in because when I heard that sound, I stopped earlier. We're full already? Hold on. Man, I wish you'd shut up. Okay, let's double check this to make sure. Oh, it's coming out. I definitely did not fill it up this much. Oh yeah, it's full full. I didn't fill it up that much, so... It was at almost two gallons before, and now it's completely coming out, which I didn't fill it up that far last time. Crap, we're gonna have to do this all over again because I screwed it up. But I think it's getting like... Oh my god, I don't want to say it, but... I didn't fill it up that far last time. All right, let's do some quick math. 30 divided by 1.8, because that's what we initially stopped at. It's about almost 17 miles to the gallon, okay? Because you got to round up, because that's a 0.6. You got to give it to me. So, but if we go from, let's say that wasn't a screw up, and maybe I just didn't fill it up completely, that's just an even two. That's 15 miles to the gallon. So, uh, we're going to have to tune it and do it again, because I know this thing can get better but we're completely full this time. No fuel leaks, so we got that fixed. But I'm gonna have to tune this thing, and sadly, we're gonna have to go and do that one more time. I'm not gonna touch the tune, because when it first initially clicked, which is where I stopped it the last time, it, I'm pretty sure it stopped at 1.2, but then I kept filling, and it still made the same sounds, and I got it to 1.8, and I was like, no, that's definitely where I stopped it last time. And then I just went ahead and filled it all the way up. The reason I didn't fill it all the way up into like literally where the filler is like overfilling is because I thought I'd still had a fuel leak. So I just stopped it when it hit like the filler neck. So we've got to redo it because if I'm right, this thing's getting like 26 miles to the gallon, but I've got to prove it now. So 
Let's do this all over again. Okay, we got the McDonald's in the background. Now it's time to go back to the gas station. Find out how many miles of the gallon we're getting. But I think we're getting a, a lot of miles of the gallon, I'll be honest. <laughs> Have a good one, man. Moment of truth. Get Dealer Plus inside now. All right. Just gonna, just gonna double check, make sure. Oh yeah, she's, it's coming out, dude. Okay, so here's what that means: 30 miles divided by 1.3 gallons is 23 miles to the gallon. I think we can get more out of it. Right now, the EFI swapped F100 is getting about 23 miles to the gallon. We're gonna tune it and do this one more time, but I'm happy. 23 miles to the gallon for a Ford 300 inline six from 1977, I'll take you. But I think we can get that a little bit higher. We're gonna tune it and do this trip one more time. So that's where we're gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching the miles per gallon test on the F100. We are turboing this thing immediately after this. So if you wanna see me tune it and take it back out one last time to see how much further we can take the miles per gallon, let me know down in the comment section. You better do it fast because the turbo system's going on in the next week or two as soon as I get the hot side back. I would be doing it now, but I've gotta send the header back to add the wastegate because for whatever reason it wasn't added. No big deal but you guys are short on time if you want to see me tune this and take it back out i'm happy with 23 miles to the gallon i am ready to move on to the next step so thank you guys for watching hood billy garage i'm gilk the great and i'll see you next time